Welcome back to I Shine Connect. I was walking all alone and I didn't seem to know that when I looked into your eyes. Oh, here, let me get that for you, Caroline. <laughs> I was walking alone, and I didn't see you there. Mm -hmm. I did see you there. No. Oh, here. Go. Just put that. Um, thank you. You bet. Yes. Thanks, Troy. That's where you put the trash. To your eyes. I'm sorry. I'm just done. Let me guess. Writer's block? I have this song in my head. Uh-huh. But every time I try to put it on paper, it just doesn't work. You know what you need? Hmm. A collaborator. What do you know about songwriting? Well, they used to call me the poor man's Glen Campbell. <laughs> you have no idea who that is. Okay. No. How about, um, hmm, let me see. Oh, the rubies. What you see, A. Eh? What you do, A. Eh? Becomes a bigger what part of what you do, A. Eh? I love them. Yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> but they kind of already have their own thing going on. Mm. And I know that they have a really big concert coming up, so yeah. I just, I don't want to bug them. Yeah, you're right. I guess you're on your own, then. <clears throat> you know, I just wish that there was somebody. Yep, yeah, sorry. Can't help you there. <laughs> I guess you're so lonesome you could cry, right? <laughs> All by yourself. Table for one, please. Lonely lady. <laughs> Kinsey, they sell cough drops all over town. I could get you some. I didn't want to intrude or anything, but I think I can help. Whoa, you write music? Yeah, totally. That's I've written great. Come with me to the auditorium now. Oh, thank you. Troy, he was a boy. He liked to use soy on his food. He's not rude. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I am good. <laughs> ah! Shouldn't be able to sneak up on people like that, lady. It's weird. Dude, man, what's your problem? Did you run out of hairspray this morning? Worse. Did you lose your voice? Come on, man. How could he have lost his voice if he just answered my question? Uh, good point. Incoming! Oh, my. There he is. Who's my partner? Noah and Max, the dynamic duo. What? Huh? Mrs. Bouton set us up an assignment in speech class where you have to write a speech about someone and then uh, do an interview with them. I guess you're a pretty boy I got teamed up with. All right, rule number one, never touch the hair. Hey, OK, calm down. You're so testy. Hey, Jax. Yeah? See that kid over there? Yeah, what about him? Have we made him cry lately? Let's find out. Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's go. Max, wait, hey, leave that kid alone and meet me back here after lunch. We're gonna get this assignment over with. Okay, okay, calm down. <sighs> Dude, how'd you get teamed up with that kid? I have no idea. Out of everyone in the class, he's the absolute most unlike me. Yeah. Well, maybe that was the point. There's no point. I'm just ready to get this assignment over and done with. <sighs> <laughs> I was walking alone, and when I saw your face, and then I felt my heart race. Whoa, no. That's like the worst idea I've ever heard. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. I mean, OK, I'm making suggestions. OK, well, make good ones next time. Okay, I'm interested in helping you anymore. You're ridiculous. No, no, Kenzie, please come back. I really, really need your help. Here. Fine. Whatever. Um, what about this? Uh, I was walking alone and I didn't see you there and then I looked into your eyes. Wow. 
That's pretty bad. I mean, <laughs> eyes and bear. What were you thinking? That doesn't even rhyme. Okay, whatever. Just whatever. No, Kinsey, please, I need your help. Can you come back? Guess not. <laughs> Where have you been? I've been ready to get this assignment over with. You said to meet you after lunch. Well, it's after lunch. Dude, it's two o'clock. Yeah, that's after lunch. <laughs> all right, whatever, let, let's just get started, all right? Let me ask the first question. Um, whoa, whoa, where... whoa, Spike, slow down. Who says you get to ask the questions first? I'm in mission six and I always get to go Dude, first. I never said that. All right, fine, you have it your way. You go first, your majesty, go. Thank you. Max, just... No, I know. Max, just ask the question. Question number one. How stupid are you? Are you kidding me, man? All right, if you're not gonna take this serious, I'm just gonna go get a new part. I I'm kidding, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> so you're gonna take this serious now? Okay, all right, let's all right. go. Ask the question. Question number two. How do you get your hair to look like a porcupine? I can't Wait, I got one more question. Just why is your band so lame? <laughs> it's time to sign it right now. <laughs>Here's the scene. It's about encouragement. One of you's discouraged, and the other's not picking up on the clues. I need encouragement. I'll bet you do. Encouragement, take one. I'm so bummed. Why? I don't know, I'm just bummed. I'm sorry, do you want me to play my tiny little violin for you? No thanks. Huh. I love this girl, world's tiniest violin. You know, if you use all your fingers, you could have a full pity orchestra. <laughs> Deal with your own problems, okay? Don't bother me. <laughs> I can't believe you're making fun of me. There's like six billion people in the world with problems, and you think you're the only one? Hey, can I have that? Sure. Thanks. High five, man. Aha! Uh -huh. How's your orchestra now? That was the brass section. Ah, uh, hey, listen. We need to be encouraging one another, lifting them up, and given love, look at the qualities and traits of your friends and quit thinking about yourself all the time. And that's where the real love of God comes in. So check it out, this is how that happens. You shouldn't be bummed, you're amazing. And you have a lot of things to be thankful for. Like a best friend, like me. I'll see, not the way it should go down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro, what do you say? Mrs. B is making lunch, you wanna come over? Oh, I'd love to. Hey, can How's I bring my full orchestra? Yeah, how about you bring your uh, finger mimes? Hey, hello? We'll be right back after this short break. Hi, I'm Kurt Schilling. I'm Shonda Schilling for the ALS Association. ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, is a devastating illness that robs patients of the simple joy of playing with their kids. It destroys their ability to speak, walk, and breathe. But there is hope. The ALS Association offers the most comprehensive patient services and leads the field in research. Please join us in lighting the way for a treatment and a cure. For more information about ALS and the ALS Association, visit us online. The preceding message was furnished by Major League Baseball.